from the Oklahoma Newsroom. This is an OSU update. I'm Jenny Carlson here with Kyle Fredrickson. And we now await the college football playoff rankings, Kyle. We've seen the AP poll, which, of course, in this day and age, doesn't amount to anything in, right. in figuring out who plays in the, in the college football playoff. But the college football playoff selection committee will release their rankings Tuesday night. Do we have any guess of where Oklahoma State will land after that impressive performance against TCU Saturday? It's hard to say what the committee is thinking. Um, you know, I, they go into every week, at least this should be the mindset, to kind of blow up what happened the week before and assess who these four teams are. Um, and, you know, if we look at the AP and the coaches, they each have OSU on the outside looking in at five. Right. But in each of those polls, behind a one-loss Alabama team. So as strength of schedule comes into play, there's obviously going to be this idea of SEC bias. But considering OSU's victories, they get a big you know, win against TCU at home, really their marquee victory. Right. Does that move them ahead of Alabama? In, in, in the eyes of those uh, committee voters, uh, one has to wonder. And when looking at this game, um, you, know, you can't make the argument anymore, at least it wouldn't appear, that this is a one-sided Oklahoma State team. Right. Um, despite giving up the 633 yards of TCU, uh, they limited them to 1.7 yards per possession, which Glenn Spencer uh, so thoughtfully reminded us uh, <laughs> after the game. So, this isn't just that one-sided arena ball league team that maybe a lot of people thought it was a couple weeks ago. Right. And you wonder how that factors into to possibly them sneak into that top four tonight. Well, obviously, there's a lot more football to be played. I mean, we know the caliber of games that remain on Oklahoma State's schedule. Obviously, this week, going to Iowa State, the caliber of opponent not great, but a place that tripped up their national championship hopes in 2011. So clearly on their radar, then home games to finish against Baylor and Oklahoma they'll have a chance to continue to increase that strength of schedule. You mentioned Alabama, though. I wonder if anything comes of the fact that Alabama's one loss is to Ole Miss. Mm -hmm. And then we saw Ole Miss at home lose to Arkansas right. in overtime in, in what was a video game score <laughs> right. because it looks like the committee was not too enamored with the video game scores in the Big 12. Now the SEC has one right. and the team that beat Alabama. Does any of that trickle over? Are, are we going to see any reflection of it this week? Or is it maybe later on down the road? You know, it might be this week. It's, you know, had that Ole Miss loss happen just a couple weeks ago, I think it definitely does. I think mm -hmm. OSU easily slides up there. But I think it's easier for us to kind of put less emphasis on those losses when they're earlier in the year. Right. Now, everything being said, you mentioned the strength of schedule for OSU, not great, especially in the non-conference. Sure. Uh, but the thing is, this team has to win out and they're in. There's really no other scenario in which they could get into the playoffs. So, uh, you know, it's a simple equation for the Cowboys. You know, OSU fans can get riled up tonight or Tuesday night and, mm -hmm. and, you know, for the rest of these weeks leading up if they don't think their team's high enough. But, like I mentioned, win them all and uh, I don't think there can be an argument made against this team for, for getting a spot in the playoff. I can't imagine Imagine a undefeated Big 12 team yeah. does not get in the playoff. And right now, that's only Oklahoma State and Baylor right. that have a chance at that. But if either of those teams went out, even with bad non-conference strength of schedule, an undefeated Big 12 team has to be in the playoff, right? <laughs> right. With, with TCU, Baylor, OU, even West Virginia, I feel like, in the right. eyes of, of the committee, is a good road win for these Cowboys. Uh, yeah, they, these guys can't get left out. So, uh, you know, I, I think uh, Commissioner Bob Bowlesby is just crossing his fingers that happens because <laughs> if this league once again gets left out, right. you know, it's going to be a whole summer of, of championship game talk. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I think for Bullsby and a lot of these Big 12 fans, they'd love to say, hey, everyone, you know, we, we can compete on a national scale. We don't need that championship game yeah. uh, to prove that we belong. And they have a one true champion yes. that actually makes the college football <laughs> playoff. We'll see how that goes. Yeah. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.